Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, sector AOB as you can see in this uh, diagram along with this uh, triangle uh, AOB as well such that uh, this angle uh, AOB is uh, 150 degrees and the radius uh, of this uh, sector is uh, 22 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concepts. And here's our very first concept. Let's talk about uh, 30, 60, 90 degree special uh, triangle. As you can see over here, uh, and here we can see that this uh, 30 degrees uh, is our smallest angle. So the side uh, opposite to that one is going to be our uh, smallest uh, leg. Whereas uh, this uh, 90 degrees uh, is our largest angle. So the side uh, opposite to that one uh, is going to be our uh, largest uh, leg. So in such kind of a special 30, 60, 90 triangle, the largest uh, leg uh, is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg. If the smallest leg is uh, one unit, then the largest leg is going to be two. So in general, if the smallest leg is uh, X units, uh, then uh, this uh, largest uh, leg is going to be two times uh, X. And now let's go over the sector. In other words, uh, sector is same as the slice. Uh, as you can see over here, this is our circle with this uh, center O with the radius uh, R. Then this part uh, is going to be our sector such that uh, this angle uh, is uh, theta. And the area of this uh, sector is uh, going to be equal to theta divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi R square where r is the radius and uh, theta is the angle. And now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, given uh, problem. We can see the radius uh, of uh, this uh, sector is uh, 22. So that means uh, this uh, AO is going to be 22 and this uh, OB is going to be 22 units as well. So therefore, uh, I'm gonna call uh, our radius as lowercase r equals to 22. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, green uh, shaded uh, region. Uh, this part uh, is going to be equal to the sector uh, AOB area minus uh, the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB. So therefore our task is going to be not only to calculate uh, this uh, sector AOB area, but also this uh, triangle uh, AOB area. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate uh, the area of this uh, sector uh, AOB. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. Area equals to angle uh, theta divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi r square. And in our case, uh, our radius uh, r is uh, 22 and our angle uh, theta is uh, 150 degrees. So therefore, let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Theta in our case is uh, 150 degrees divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi times uh, r is uh, 22 whole square. And now let's focus on this uh, fraction. We can see 0 and 0 cancels out. And if we reduce 15 divided by 36, uh, that is going to give us uh, 5 uh, divided by 12. And uh, we can write this one as uh, 5 divided by 12 times uh, 22 square is uh, 484 times uh, pi. So therefore, if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, that is going to give us uh, 605 pi divided by 3. So therefore the area of this uh, sector AOB turns out to be 605 pi divided by 3 square units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB. 
And here's our next step. I have extended uh, this line uh, OB all the way to this uh, point uh, C. And now let's recall the straight angle uh, property. We know that this whole uh, angle uh, is uh, 180 degrees. And we also know that this uh, angle given is uh, 150 degrees. So therefore, uh, this uh, remaining uh, angle is going to be 30 degrees. And here I have dropped a perpendicular. So I connected uh, these points A and uh, C. And as a result, we got this uh, right triangle uh, OCA. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this is our 30 degree angle. This is our 90 degree angle. And we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. So therefore, we can see that this is our 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle. And here I have copied down this uh, right triangle uh, ACO, whose uh, this uh, AO length uh, is uh, 22. And we know that this A is our uh, smallest leg, since this uh, side is opposite to this uh, smallest angle. And this is our uh, largest leg, since this is opposite to our uh, largest uh, angle. And we know that in such kind of 30, 60, 90 triangle, uh, this uh, longest leg uh, is going to be twice uh, this uh, smallest leg. If this is uh, 22, then this smallest leg uh, has got to be 11 units. So therefore, our this uh, AC length uh, turns out to be 11 units. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. For our this uh, triangle uh, AOB, this uh, OB is the base uh, of this uh, triangle and this uh, AC is going to be the height uh, of this uh, triangle. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our triangle AOB area is going to be a half times uh, base is uh, 22 times uh, height uh, is 11. And if we simplify everything on the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 121 uh, square units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green uh, shaded region. We already figured out uh, our sector AOB area, which is uh, 605 uh, pi divided by 3. And the area of this uh, triangle uh, AOB is uh, 121. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So therefore, this is going to be 605 pi divided by 3 minus 121. And if we simplify everything on the right side, this is going to be approximately equal to 512.6 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 512.6 uh, uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.